Kyle Fletcher and Don Callis come to the ring and Kyle Fletcher cuts a necessary promo where in which he he establishes he establishes why he decided to turn on Will Ospreay and he said because everyone keeps drawing comparisons because we were so close because of the United Empire they always kind of saw me as your little bro kind of thing he didn't say that specifically but that that was the vibe of the of the promo he said so I had to distance myself from you like what you did with Okada in New Japan he brought you in you he was your little bro what did you do to this to to break apart to break away from Okada and be your own man you had to turn on him and I'm like this is all good this is all good good content great stuff but on top of it on top of the good content he is delivering this promo like a champion like this was a kick-ass promo and you can start nitpicking the um you can start nitpicking the 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 issues that you might have with it oh you know the cadence sounds a little too wwe oh it was a you you people promo but the package in which it was delivered even if there were little things that you that your affinities might have been challenged a little bit might have might have scratched you the wrong way the package the whole delivery of how he brought this promo into life was fantastic an extraordinary crescendo for starting from here and ending all the way up the fuck here where he's he decided that he was going to be so unhinged that he was going to shave his head in the middle of the ring right so you had to be able to go from here to here i was so impressed i was hanging on his every word the 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 build the emotional build where he did start very calm until he lost his brain is pure pro wrestling magic those are the kinds of promos that get you excited where a guy just goes completely batshit and he went batshit to the point where he started shaving his head because he was like i have to stop looking like you 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 don't look like him that much but that's the point right Don Callis has clippers and he goes and he doesn't shave it all off right so he has these tufts of hair he's got like he's got like a third of his hair left it's tremendous he looks completely unhinged script and he handled the crowd the I'm telling you he handled the crowd like like he has been cutting grade a promos for the past 15 years which he hasn't by the way because they were what was the thing they were they were chanting uh wrap it up at some point and kyle he stops talking turns around to address the audience and says i something to the effect that i am i am using time that was bought by don Callis. so you know shut up i'm gonna be here for a while and i'm like this was perfect because he could have just turned around and said shut up you you know uh you know he could have he could have just said uh, uh, uh shut up you utah geeks or whatever you know go back to your multiple wives you you know whatever <laughs> what isn't that it Mormon, mormons that's the joke and it doesn't matter that what matters here i don't want i don't want to distract from what i'm trying to say here by doing really stupid jokes um th that's the point actually is that kyle came up with something much better than what i did and, and he he is such a pro like what has happened to kyle fletcher in this year we have been talking about for a long time on on on, on this podcast how kyle fletcher had all the tools to be a, a top guy and that it was entirely up to him to decide right it was entire like he has all the tools but it depends on his effort what is he going to do to 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 establish himself as a top guy and you knew tony had confidence in him because he was you know he gave him the little pushes and would put him in you know key matches at key moments key you know just very subtle stuff but over the past year he has just exploded like something clicked is it is it because his boy will showed up and will is just like mentoring him and guiding him through this this was spectacular did, did he workshop this promo with will it was so good it was so 
incredibly good. It's the promo of his career. And he had to nail this. He had to nail this because he's in a he's in a a a a a, a program with Will Ospreay, who is right now the, the top baby face in the company. You can argue, okay, you can argue swerve with me. I'm one of two. How about that? Will Ospreay, who is one of the who is the best wrestler on the planet, an incredible promo guy. And Kyle Fletcher's here saying, basically saying, I'm going to hang with you. No sweat. I got this. I'm going to hang with you. Star defining promo. I loved it. Unhinged. Said exactly what needed to be said. Makes tons of sense. Advances the story. Now next week, we're going to get Kyle Fletcher in a match. And he's going to win. And maybe Will Ospreay is going to show up at the end. Right? Because Will is out selling the injury. I am so hype about this. Like, this is this was tremendous. I, I don't know. If I, I, I don't know. Again, if you find some faults that irritate you, that I, I get it. But the ex, like, technically, in, to a sense, right? Maybe it didn't agree with you, but the delivery here was so impressive. If if the AEW cad, if the WWE cadence bothered you, uh. I, don't worry because he delivered it in a way that in a, in a way that they would have never let him deliver that promo in WWE. It was not that at all.